Have you ever wondered how databases like MySQL and SQL Server store their data? And what is the time complexity of retrieving a row using a primary key? The time complexity is in fact O log n. That's right. Not O1, not O n, but O log n. This is because databases store the indices of their data in a data structure called B-tree. When we insert a new record into the database, we need to record or compute its index and store it in a way that allows for fast lookups. While using a hash table may seem like a natural choice, it can be difficult to store on disk and inefficient for conducting range queries. Moreover, it will take linear time to look at a key if a collision occurs. That's why databases like MySQL and SQL Server use a B-tree. B-trees are a type of balance tree that can perform lookups, insertions, and range queries in logarithmic time. Unlike binary search trees, B-trees can have multiple branches, up to n branches for an n-order B-tree. And each node in the tree is a fixed-size data page generated from the database. These fixed-size data pages make accessing B-tree faster, since reading continuous blocks of the disk is much faster than random access. Moreover, as each node of B-tree has more children than a binary search tree, which results in a smaller tree height and thus requires less disk access, since we can only read the disk one page at a time. Most databases can fit into a B-tree that is three or four levels deep, so you don't need to follow many page references to find the page you're looking for. For example, a 500-order B-tree of 4 kilobyte data pages with 4 levels can store up to 256 terabyte. Here is an example of a 4-order B-tree storing some key value pairs from a database. Note that each data page has 3 keys and at most 4 references to the trial pages. The internal data pages contain keys in ascending order that act as the ranges of the trial pages. For example, if a reference locates between keys 100 and 200, then all keys in the reference trial page should be greater than 100 and less than 200. The leaf data pages, on the other hand, host all of the key value pairs in the database. Let's say you want to find the value associated with the key 188 in this four-order B tree. We start the search process from the root by identifying the key range that 188 falls into. In this case, larger than or equal to 100, and less than 200. From here, the current rule node follows the page reference to the trial node, and we can again narrow our search range to larger than or equal to 175. This process continues until we reach the leaf of the tree, where the key 188 is finally found with its value. So this is how the SQL database store and look at its data. The use of B-tree for storing indices in a database is a smart choice for its logarithmic time complexity and efficient disk access.